Hello everyone and welcome to the class. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com and this is yet another one of our tutorial videos that is designed to assist those who are either deaf or hard of hearing. So I hope you enjoy this. Today we are talking about an app that is called Clear Captions. It is made for the iPhone and believe it or not, it's free. Now we tested this beforehand and it works reasonably well. There is a significant delay between what someone speaks and when it appears on the other person's phone as text, but nonetheless it is free. And hopefully this technology will evolve and become better and better over time. Now when you first download Clear Captions, you are going to have to fill out some very basic user information like your name, your birthday, they do ask for the final four digits of your social security number, and of course, your phone number. Now when you use this, the other person on the other end of the line does not know that it's being used. So uh, you still may want to mention something since they're going to notice there's a delay between what they say and when you respond, theoretically. Um, another note I did want to mention before we really dive into the app here is that in order for this to work, you need to have one of two different connections. You either need to be in Wi-Fi, preferably, for this to work well, or you have to have a cell phone service like AT&T where you can access both cellular voice and data at the same time. Now where we're based out of, I have Verizon, you can see that at the top left of my screen, and it will not work on Verizon if I don't have a Wi-Fi connection. So let's give it a shot right now. We are going to try calling my assistant who's waiting for my call. We're going to blur out his phone number for privacy reasons, but you can see here it looks basically very similar to the normal phone. It does talk to your pre-existing contacts, so that's nice. And we're just going to try calling him right now. And on this next screen, which you're all going to see blurred out, it just asks the name. It confirms the number of the person I'm calling and my phone number. So let's give it a shot. The other part about this that's very nice the other part about this that's very nice is that it will actually give us both audio and the text version at the same time. Stand by, Ernie, if you can hear me. So what I'm going to do right now is you can see it's in the phone app. I'm going to hit the home button so we get out of that. And we're going to go into, once again, clear captions. And it can see that the line is answered. And that's what Ernie just said to me. Isn't this a great app for the hearing impaired? And sounds like he's still talking. Ernie, can you hear me OK? Obviously, you all are not going to be able to hear him, but I just want to see how big the delay is between when he responds. Now, I can hear he just answered back. Let's do this, Ernie, to help our users. Would you do me a favor and just count from 1 to 5 so we can sort of test the delay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's just see. Hey, that actually wasn't a bad delay in that case. So I hope you've all enjoyed this class. Ernie, thank you for chatting with me. You can hang up now on your end. Um, for all the... All of you out there who are watching this, if you know someone who is hearing impaired or deaf, this is an amazing little piece of technology that could really just change someone's life. So this is, of course, again, as I said at the beginning of this class, the f one of a series of tutorial videos that we want to produce to help people who are going through these challenges. So if any of you out there know other apps that could really help someone who is deaf or disabled in some sort of way, please leave it in the comments section below. We'll look into it, and if it seems like a good solution, we will create a tutorial video all around that app. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. Class dismissed.